What's going on, guys? You know who it is. Ha, <laughs> here I am. And I'm ready to talk about what? Wow. Not the pandemic, not that at all, but something so cool it fits in your pocket. The Lumix 14 millimeter prime lens. As always, let's go. We are talking about the 14 millimeter prime, 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 super small, super compact, and it's a prime. We're talking about a 28 millimeter because of the crop factor, overall focal length. Still 35 millimeter equivalent, no issue there. Three spherical blade, you know what? It's a whole lot of stuff, but not a lot right here. Now that you've seen that, let's get into why you want this. What you want to know is what makes it work for me? The fact that it's a compact prime is one of the first reasons, people. Do you understand how great this is? Super lightweight, super wide. I shot with this lens and it's absolutely wonderful to be able to get really close to your subject, yet be able to get move away from your subject and never use a different lens. I've used this lens for all types of applications as you're seeing in some of the footage right now. I've used on my G7, my G85, and my what? BGH1. <laughs> Let me tell you, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All the footage you're seeing today is from the G85 or the G7, respectively, uh, labeled in the lower thirds. Outside of that, this allows you to have this as part of your kit and have a super wide lens when you need it for those certain scenarios. At the same time, if you need to get closer to your subject, you can. Everyone, I just want to take the opportunity to say subscribe. It'll help me out and it'll keep you abreast of what's going on. Please like the videos and as always, the notification bell will keep you up to date on what's going on on the channel. Hey, if you haven't stopped by TommyLamar.studio, you might want to check it out. Some pretty cool things over there as well. Back to the content. If you need not to carry a lot of lenses, this is it. I will probably do a couple different ones just to be able to make sure I can get the depth of field that I'm looking for. <laughs> but as you know, if you're good at what you do, you can make some depth of field come out of nowhere. <laughs> as you're seeing right here in this footage. One of the main things that I love really is the fact that it's so small. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick Cap comes off, cap comes off. That is really it. That is really the lens right there. I hold up. I actually have, get that off if I can get an ND filter on there. <laughs> Seriously, super awesome. 
you know, I wouldn't steer you guys wrong. I wouldn't tell you to get anything that you don't need. You know, most people ask me what lenses should I add to my kit. The first one I always say is the 25 1.7. I mean, you can't go wrong with that lens. It's super. It's the nifty 50 of the Lumix world, really. The next thing I would probably say is get you a good 50 millimeter lens. And now you get that 100 millimeter focal length and you can just crush depth of field. I've played with so many wide angle lenses from the SLR 8 millimeter, 16 millimeter, but you gotta, I think it's rounding out like a F4 is where you start at. This is 2.5. Yes, it's not as low as the 1.7, but you can still get some decent low light when, you're ha when you have a camera with a great ISO. So maybe not so great on the G7 versus the 25 millimeter in low light, but something like the G, uh, BGH1 that, you know, it's a cinema camera, this thing performs well with it. Now, I still take supplementary light with me sometimes when I go at at night, depending on where I am or where I want to shoot my scene. But this thing comes with me every day, everywhere I go, in that camera bag, my go bag, I'm ready. I have a special little camera lens bag, it's in my lens bag. I make sure I carry it with me when I'm carrying all my lenses. If I'm not carrying all my lenses and I'm carrying just a couple, this still comes. Even if I'm carrying anamorphic lenses with me. And we'll talk about that in another video, anamorphic. But, guys, not a super long video because, you know, you've seen the footage. I'm not going to sell you on the benefits of it. I'm just going to tell you, you need to have it. I'm not even playing with you. You'll find a link below. Yes, Amazon affiliates. I'm just trying to be out here making a little money for myself. Come on, help a guy out. Click the link. Support. On top of all that, hey, I'm here. A lot of videos are dropping. I can't wait to show you guys what's in store for the rest of this year. I'm not even talking pandemic. Let's get up out of here. As always, please like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay abreast of all the new videos that I'm dropping on the channel. And as always, let's go.